for something that would work with the natural beauty of Marysville, the natural beauty of the farmland, of the estuary, of the delta, of the, the mountains and the Cascades, and of course, Mount Pilchuck. It's all about where the city of Marysville is going. And I believe that the artwork, especially the piece uh, by Susan Zacola over the stairwell, really complements the Northwest style of architecture. I was inspired by uh, the space, driving up to Marysville and kind of getting the some of the water. You know, I think of it as like kind of being by the water, being by the river, being awesome. But all the little streams and things like that, the technology is really beautiful. And just the images that come out of that. She created this rippling water effect that cascades down the staircase, a unique interpretation of some of the beauty of Marysville. My imagining of water is with these kind of copper balls um, that are copper and glass or acrylic. I just imagined it kind of flowing in the building somehow, you know, or flowing through the building, somehow having something kind of flowing down the stairs made sense to me. The building that it's going into is uh, a classic Northwest style featuring raw timbers and great expanses um, to see all the views outside Mount Pilchuck and, and the Cascade Mountains. We put out a, a call for artists um, that would reflect the unique character of Marysville with an emphasis on its beauty. Susan Zacola was selected. She has this unique ability to really come into a space, to walk through it, to see what is needed and see how it actually reflects the environment that it sits in. It has to be something that you can see from outside. And she accomplished that by these glistening orbs that are copper colored and reflect light. If the Civic Center is closed, you can still see the beauty from the plaza. And I think that was a really important aspect of this project.